and we're back to Career Build Series episode 215 and so we're back here at Draymore and so the plan here is I want to get some instrument approaches at least the airports that I use most often and so I'm going to try to do this we'll see if we can get it to work right so I'm going to come here I'm going to go to the add-on editor um, we'll start this as let me find uh, try to get some spelling correct here first um, D R E I M. I always spell this incorrectly, so I want to make sure I get it right. D R E. D R E. My hand will not write. Um, I M O R. I M O R. D R E. Like Dre. Like, don't forget about Dre. Dre Moore. All right, so uh, we, you know, I did some for the military base here, and I want to start working on this. So. I'm going to try to do this with add-on. We'll see how this works. So I'm in presently in my... I need a compass. Already behind here I'm going to need. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a compass. So let's do an inventory compass. Stick that on me here. All right, so what I need to do is, in real life, the way these runways are numbered is via the compass heading. And so if you see runway 21 at an airport, it doesn't mean there's 21 runways. Um, you might see 21 left, right, center. If there are more than uh, three parallels, they start going like, it'll be 22, you know, so it'll be 21 left, 21 right, 21 center, and 22, you know. And so what we want to do here is, if I look at the end of this runway as far as I can, see we have a heading of 219. So I'm going to move left a little bit and see where I hit 28, 218's there. And 220 is right there. So this runway is closer to 220, as you can see. So this is going to be runway 22. So it's all based on compass settings. So Draymore has runway 22. And the reciprocal of that is, um, I'm just going to, let me try to find the runway uh, compass reciprocal formula. I used to know it well, but I forget. Compass reciprocal Uh, formula. I'm just going to do compass reciprocal, and then uh, there was a way to do it. I forget how to do it off the top of my head, so I'm just going to do it here. So heading uh, 220 is a 40, so that would be runway 4 on the other end. So it would be runway 4 coming towards the north and 22 that way. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to make some ADF approaches here. And so, generally, really, the ADF would not be at, would not be on the field itself. It would be, be uh, it would be off to the side generally. But I'm gonna kind of do this more like an ILS. So I'm gonna decide this will be our regular approach. So I'm gonna put an antenna here. So I'm gonna try doing this. I don't have a lot of experience with add-ons, but I'm gonna try it. So let's see, Draymore, ADF, okay. Do it as environmental mods. See if I can find Ray more. Right here. Draymore ADF, environmental mods, mainland airstrip, edit objects. Okay. So again, I have very little uh, experience with this, so I have to kind of figure out what the heck I'm doing here. So how do I even move my character? Um, do I have a camera here? Let's see, add character, add object, add zone, vehicle, flare, fire, loot, animal, crutcher, graph node, add on, load, save, add on overview, uh, location editor, ocean, and edit out of Lua. Let's see. F to focus. To, okay. So F will focus me where I want. So I'm going to go up here. F. Okay, good. I'm starting to figure this out here. So again, this is the first time I really need it. So on the approach path here, we're going to put an antenna. So I need to kind of get that going there. All right. So we're going to build this. Um, let me look up what an ADF building looks like. ADF uh, antenna building. Yep, 
Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like on a an aircraft. I'm trying to see what the building looks like. I know what an ILS building looks like. ADF antenna shack. Let's try that. They usually little shacks. I don't see it. Anyway, so I'm gonna kind of I'll make a custom then. So let's go ahead and let's start. Um, how am I doing this here? Add object. Nope. Uh, let's see. Press enter to cancel. Shift to place multiple. Okay. Um, press and enter to cancel. Okay. Um, let's see. Add character. Add add zone. Add vehicle. Add flare. Flyer. Add loot. A creature. Yeah, and very, I'm kind of learning this as I go here. So let's fire, flare, add vehicle. No, I don't want that. I could add a vehicle. I could make this as a vehicle. Add zones. Uh, let me read what it says before I do. Okay, that's missions. Objects can be picked up, thrown, moved around the player. They can be used for delivery missions. Okay, just as decoration. You can. All right, so let's do this. Let's get out of this. And let's make a quote-unquote vehicle that I can leave there. Again, I'm very this very much an amateur at this, so um, those of you screaming, do this, do that, do this, can't hear you. I'm inside. <laughs> and so uh, let's go ahead and, and start a new one here. So I want to make a little shack. And this is going to, it's going to be pretty tiny. Um, this is going to house my stuff. So let's go ahead, do symmetry. Just going to be a little building here. Um, the VORs and ILS have a very unique look to them. This is good. Oh, come on. Let's go like this and this. One, two, three, four. And so this is just a little little shack that um, this will be located in. All I really need is an antenna. And so instead of putting a GPS coordinate in, I'm going to put in an antenna. So what do we have here? Um, and what are we talking? One, two, three, four. That's about perfect. I actually kind of probably want to go a little bit more here. Yeah, so I'm just building a little roof line on this here. Real simple. Uh, it's just a tiny little building that has to hold a little bit of equipment. It's an equipment shack for the uh, ADF needle. And so eventually I like to build an ILS, um, an instrument landing system, but presently I'm going to go with the shack here. So let's uh, bucket all this here. Tend to be... They actually tend to be white and then have some orange lines so you don't run over them and you don't hit them as you're going. But um, kind of do, I think, let's do this. Make this bottom dark color. And then we will do white and then I'm going to do orange stripes. So often a lot of the buildings are striped again so you don't hit them. You want good visibility, high vis when you're, uh, you know, when you have st stuff around the airport, you want to be able to see it. And so I didn't make those symmetrical at all. So let's go um, like that. It's probably better. Okay. And so that's going to be my ADF shack. And I want to kind of do the roof here. So let's do a kind of a brown roof. And so brown up the roof here. Maybe I'll put a windsock on here. I don't want it too tall, but um, I should definitely not be hitting this. I'm not using the bucket just so that I don't have to undo some of the paint that I do. So, All right, so there's my little ADF shack. And so one of the main features of the ADF shack is going to be the um, antenna. Radio, what's it called? Radio. So we want a uh, huge. This will give us 20. Um, we get 20 miles on this antenna, plus we get uh, 20 miles on the receiving antenna because I have a huge inside of some of my vehicles. So you add them together. So we can have up to 40 kilometers of range on this. So that's, uh, that's where we're at there. So that's going to have an antenna. And so what this is going to do is this needs a GPS. So GPS, if I could write, that would be great. All right, this is just going inside, so I don't even need to see this. That's going to go inside the middle of the shack. 
And so that right there is going to be my shack. And so what this is going to do is let's go ahead and uh, import. So where are we at here? I need... So right here is the parasite radio receiver. Here is the homing radio transmitter. So I want that. And so what this does, this is the same system that works on Triton so that I can home to Triton. And so I'm just going to We'll put that there. This is all connected, so I'm just going to move, uh, kind of just copy over what I have here already, and then that way I don't have to reconnect it all. I think it's all connected. So what are we looking at here? This, uh, I guess, nope, you know what? Let's do that. It wasn't connected anyway. It was a ding-dong. So let's go ahead and let's delete it, and then I thought I had left it connected. So we do radio transmit mode. This one's transmitting its position. We take GPS X. We take GPS Y, we take the radio frequency, we'll send to there. What else do I need here? This is two radio, so we have to send out on the radio. Um, that's going to send the GPS signal, and then this is radio transmission controller. So this, um, this whole unit can go inside. And then I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, an add-on has infinite electricity. I'm pretty damn sure of that, but I'm not 100%. So we'll test it. Um, what I could do is this. Let's do this. This will be kind of cool as well. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. Let's go solar. Let's go we'll grab that brown color, that beautiful brown we have there. All right. And we will solarize this sucker. And if this does not wish to behave, I will manually put these in game. So this is going to have solar. Uh, we'll do a battery. Small bat. And so this will be powered as well. So give it a little bit of realism, even if I don't need it. Um, we'll have this realism. So I'm going to hopefully put these in without having to start a new game. That might require a little bit screw screwing around. But I don't even know if this is going to work. So, um, again, it's my first time playing with it. So, you know... I could do a ton of research before I do this, or I could um, kind of figure this out with you guys. And so I figured, you know what, let's figure it out together. And worst case, it doesn't work, and I have to go uh, do some more research. But I think it's a little fun trying to f figure these things out. You can kind of see how I work through figuring crap out, too. So this is all powered by solar and battery. So um, I have pretty much only solar at my home base house, and I've never had any electrical issues and so um, hopefully that's enough solar. All it's running is this radio is and the GPS is it. So I imagine that's an infinitely small amount of electricity. So um, let's go ahead in here. I need to find out what else I'm hooking up to this. So I should have a way to turn it on. So we have GPX and Y. So radio transmission controller. And let's see. OK, so I enter in the radio frequency. What I'm going to do is put in a static frequency here. So I'm going to go and generally these ADFs were three frequency um, or three channel. Uh, they're like AM radio stations. So I'm going to put 635 as this one. I'm just making up numbers. And these will be on the approach plates so that when I go to do the approach, I will read it. And then radio transmit mode, I just need a constant on. And that will be there. And then that way I can do that. And so I'm actually going to change this to a property number. Property number. And so the way, the reason I'm doing that is um, I'd have to go in the microcontroller and I do it again. So radio freak. And so that will be 635. And so that way, as you know, I don't have to go in the microcontroller to configure it. So. And then I'll just get rid of this. Uh, again, this was designed so that I could um, set up the frequency um, from Triton. So I don't need that anymore. This is going to be a st static thing that sits there. So all this is doing is when I tune in radio frequency three, uh, 635, this is always transmitting. My antenna on my vehicles will pick it up. And it will give me the GPS X and Y coordinates of where, I, of where the uh, shack is, essentially. Let's update that. 
So let's go ahead and save this. This is the ADF shack. And so you'll see these little shacks all around the airport. Let me see if I can't find an ILS shack. Okay, so here is an ILS shack. So that's the instrument landing system. Uh, you'll have um, your little ILS shack here. That has all your stuff. That has your antennas in it. That's what it looks like. Um, there's the glide slope. This is actually how the system works. Let me see if I can open this in a new tab and not have it be annoying. Okay, ooh, wow, I can actually read it. All right, so this is the, this is eventually what I'd like to do. Um, Sky has made a, a great ILS system already. I would like to kind of make mine myself, uh, partly for, for learning it myself. And so the way an ILS works is right here you have your runway, okay? And so you have two components. You have your glide slope and you have your localizer. You notice right here you have a, um, so here's your runway. That's the end of the runway, that's the other end of the runway. Uh, and that's the point of intersection where your glide slope, uh, where you'd come down and intend to land right around your, um, your aiming bars. And so if you notice off the left of the runway, we have a glide slope here. So that's that shack there with the antenna. And what a glide slope does is the glide slope's actually offset to the side, but it doesn't matter. It does a beam, you know, you know, really wide. You don't need it to be right there. And so what you see is it does a three degree glide slope. And so the closer you get, the more precise, further away, the uh, less precise vertical, uh, you know, like this. And so as you come in, you will get uh, a needle. Your needle will be all the way at the top telling you the glide slope's above you as you come into it. Uh, the needle will come down and you follow the needle all the way down and that glides you in. Now, the, the this is what's known as a precision approach. And it's a precision approach because it has both um, horizontal, your uh, localizer, and vertical guidance. And because you have horizontal and vertical guidance, as you can see your needles here, you want to keep them crossed. This is your glide slope needle. This is your localizer needle. And they come in and they cross and you follow these in. If the needle starts going up, you're under glide slope. So you'd pitch up to regain glide slope. If the needle went under you, you're too high. You need to pitch down. You want to keep them crossed. If this needle's off to your left, you're too far to the right. You need to come in. And so the reason this is precision is this, because this is precision, it allows you to get 200 feet above the runway. And so that allows you to get really close down. So if you have uh, clouds at 300 feet, you can get down all the way to um, 200 feet. You can get under the cloud layer. You can see the runway. You can land. That's how even on a really foggy day, uh, you'll see airliners coming in all day long. This is what I used to do. You know, have a real a low cloud layer. And we come in. We literally can't see anything at 300 feet above the runway. Seconds before touching the ground, we would see... Runway in sight, or we'd say approach lights in sight. Generally, you see the approach lights are really super bright, especially on a foggy day. They turn them up in intensity. You'd see the approach lights, so you'd call out approach lights in sight, continuing. That's telling your intention to continue on the approach. Uh, you would reach as long as you see them before uh, your decision altitude, which is about 200 feet above the runway, above the ground. So if the ground was 100 feet, it would be 300 feet. Uh, you know, uh, MSL, mean sea level. You'd say, if you don't see the approach lights at that, at your decision height, you would uh, pitch up and you would go missed and go to another airport. If you see the approach lights, the runway, any of the visual environment, um, at, by 200 feet, you would say, uh, approach lights in sight, continuing. That's showing your intention to continue the approach. When you see the runway, you go runway in sight, landing. Because you could see the approach lights and it could still be too foggy. You don't ever see the runway. And then you go, go and missed. And you would go because you didn't see the runway. You, you know, you see a bunch of lights, that's great. But if you don't see the runway, you're going, you know, you're not going to try to land like that. And so anyway, so that's your glide slope. That brings you down a glide. And then you have your uh, localizer at the end of the runway. And so you see it's actually in line with the runway. That's why it's at the end. And so it will send a beam down, and that gives you your lateral nav so that you come straight down the path. And as you can see, it's you have 2,900 feet way out here. Uh, what's that, five miles? So at five miles, the beam is uh, 2,900 feet wide. So if your needle's all the way over here, you could be, you know, 1,000 feet out of the center. 
as you get closer and closer, you notice the beam's getting narrower. Right here at, uh, was that, 3,500 feet? About 3,500 feet, it looks like. The beam's only 915 wide, so it's getting more and more precise. And you notice the, the thickness of your glide slope is also getting more and more precise. So as you get in there, you have to be, you have to be on better and better. And it makes sense, right? If you're off your altitude by 100 feet, way back here, it's not a big deal. You know, you're up at a high altitude, you're not going to hit anything. If you're close to the runway, if you're within 200 feet and you're, you know, 100 feet off your altitude, you're going to smash into the ground and crash. So you have, to, it has to get more precise. You have to be more precise in the way in. So anyways, thought you guys might find that interesting. Seems like people have been in, enjoying some of this instrument stuff. So let's go ahead and let's save this. Uh, make sure I saved it. Yep. ADF Shack. I like the way it looks. All right, so let's go try this again. I have no idea how to do these add-ons. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have to start a new game. I hope not. Um, if I do, I'll just you know give myself all the locations, of the money. But let's go ahead and try this. Worst case is it doesn't work, and I have to do something else. Okay, so that's there. Let's go ahead and add a vehicle. ADF Shack. Okay, I want it. Um, can I rotate this sucker? Can I rotate this bad Johnny? I don't know. I don't like it crooked. I'll tell you that much. Um, let's see, rotation right here. Okay, that that moves it. So I kind of want it centralized in the middle of the runway. Okay, so this is different than that ILS I showed you, just to keep that in mind as well. Go down just a hair into the ground. Good, good. I want to rotate this. So again, people probably scream at the screen, hey, dummy, do this. Uh, let's see, DR... I'm probably spelling it wrong again. Yep, D-R-E-I. Frame more. ADF. Okay. Show relative to seafloor falls is static. True. Keep vehicle active. True. Is editable. False. Show on map. False. Transponder active. False. I can't read what that is. Is invulnerable. True. All right, how do I rotate this? That's what I want to know. How do I move it? This is when it would be great if I was doing a live. Here it is right here. Okay, rotation. All right. Again, I have not played with this at all. So we want to line this up with the runway. It doesn't matter because it's just GPS, but um, I want it to look appropriate. So I'm just kind of lining it up. So that's good. It doesn't have to be perfect. These ADF shacks actually generally are not at the end of the runway. They're off to the side. So you'd have it here. Uh, do I put it to the sides? The question. Hmm. I could put it off to the side. Why? Why am I making life difficult? <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here. Um. Yeah. See, this is where we're gonna. Uh. Yeah. You know what? We're we're pretty. We're actually pretty tight on space here. Let's go here. And I'm gonna drag it off the side. So. Uh, VORs, ADFs, these non-precision approaches, they're not right at the end of the runway. They're generally off to the side. And so what do I need to do? Um, how do I move again? There we go, F. Um, they're generally off to the side. And so they're non-precision. They're not getting you exactly there. And because they're non-precision, you actually, um, you know, you don't get as... Uh, you know, you can't go down as low, and that's why they're non-precision. So an ADF approach, you might only be able to go down to 500 feet. Well, remember in my example, I said if the clouds are at 300 feet, if we go down to 500 feet and I don't see approach lights or the runway, I can't go any lower. So if the clouds are down to 300 feet, I can't go to this airport. And so that's the uh, drawback of a non-precision approach. So let's do that. Um, I hope I can make this work. I really do. So replace vehicle file, properties, let's see properties. Properties is that, okay, this is all that. How do I place you? Let me rotate you just a hair. You're just a hair off and you'll drive me nuts if you're not perfect. I should have put a compass sensor on there maybe to see the heading, but whatever, it's not, it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm liking that. A little bit crooked, but I don't care. <laughs> Keep telling myself that. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Okay, and let's add it here. Let's say save name for this add-on. Um, e R E I M O R ADF. Okay, Dreamor ADF. 
All right, so that is saved. Save it again. All right, so let's go ahead and exit now. I'm going to try this. It may or may not work. So as you see, we can't see it on our world. I have to add it in. So this is my, if we look at our save here, this is my backup save. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go back to the main menu. And so what I'm hoping here is to have physicalized um, approach systems that I'll eventually release on the, on the workshop. I'm going to do, well, the, see, the static bases that don't move around, um, like Dre Moore is always in the same position, Harrison, I forget what the other one's called, in the mainland, any, ones, any of the ones in the arid biome, uh, those will work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly grab my game files. And let's bring uh, that in where are we at Stormworks, saves, um, career build series, scene. Uh, no, Notepad. Notepad++, plus plus, they they seem to update every two seconds. 19.356. Okay, 19.356. So let's go ahead and let's start a new world, new game. Um, do career. 19.356. I'm going to hopefully not have to um, start a new world, but what I'm going to do is... Um, Just do this for right now. Let's enable add-ons, AI paths, AI aircraft. Um, default mission, cargo. Um, hopefully not going to have to get into all of this. Um, first various mission landmarks, default mission zone, mission locations, default transport zone, air natural disasters, bye bye uh, Resource storage trading, mission zones, default tutorials off. Weapons DLC is off. Okay, then I want uh, saved. Draymore ADF on. Okay, back. Create this. And so what I'm going to do is make a little test world here. And then I'm going to try to edit my XML for my current game and see if I can't pop this in. Sometimes you can do this, sometimes you can't. So if I can edit the XML to add this in, this is a reliable way that I can add these features to my current save game without having to start over again. It's not the end of the world if I start over again. I'll have the same, um, you know. I'll just I'll just throw myself in the money. I don't have any any craft out in the world. I just I'll throw myself a little extra money and go buy the bases I have. It's not a big deal, but I'd rather not. Um, let's go ahead and open this up here. You over there, shack? Okay, there's the shack. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's open up. Proteus won't fit in here. A Proteus does fit in here. Look at that. I didn't think Proteus was going to fit. In the, uh, no, I didn't know it was going to fit in the space. I don't have the money for it. Okay, let's load in um, Cormorant. Oh, please. I don't have the money for this either. You kid me. Um, Katie. Okay. You're being annoying today, aren't you? All right, let's go ahead and do this. I just want to test the shack out before I uh, bother putting it in my world. So let's go ahead and save this world as ADF test. All right, that's saved. Let's go ahead and um, quit the main menu. Uh, what? Yeah, just go quick to my menu. All right, let's go up here. Um, where is my saves? So, nope, nope, nope. Where are you at? Where are you at? Um, oh, why are you making life difficult? Okay, let's find it here. Um, just find in my save files off screen here, and then I'll get get it back in here. Okay, so. Save file saves. This should be where is it? Um, where the hell did I? I just made it, man. Where is it? ADF test right there was the first one. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and let's find ADF. All right, playlist data mission Draymore ADF. So that would be what I'm I'm looking for there. All right, so that's important. So right here in the money, I'm gonna just add two zeros, save that, 
Let's go ahead and oh, pick the right one, open it. And so now I have Buco De Niro. I'm going to launch. Um, I'm just going to launch uh, the Cormorant, test it out. So all it really is going to do is um, I want to make sure that the my bearing system, which runs my ADF in the Cormorant, receives the shack, points at the shack, reads where the shack is. And, uh, I don't need this speech to business you're doing to me there, guy. Uh, let's do... Let's do Katie. And the reason is uh, I like Katie for these types of things just because Katie um, can uh, sit stationary. So it, it makes it very simple for me to test out my navigation equipment. I'm wearing my military duds because I uh, have a new series where I build some military craft. I'm waiting for green light to take off. Okay, good. So I believe the frequency is 635. I should take paint blocks and put it on the side of that shack that says the frequency, but, um, you know, I could open up the file. So let's go ahead and what's our current altitude? Let's do 50 feet. Okay, 50 feet. Um, Katie's great because I can station keep right on top of that. So let's go 50 feet. Let's go ahead and I want to switch to my frequency page. So it's 635, I think, to 6. Three, five, okay. And then I want heading radio. Okay, let me, I'm trying to remember how to even run this system here, so. All right, that should be, uh, if it's 635. All right, can I, ah, I don't have create a menu on this. That's a pain. So let's see, uh, I'm trying to figure out um, what's going on here. 076. So that should be reading the bearing to that. So let me check it. See if it's a Katie problem. So if it's reading 076. There we go. So it's pointing to it. That's fine. Uh, I don't know why it's not going to. Heading radio. Autopilot heading radio. Altitude hold. Let's go to altitude hold. Heading bearing. Okay, so see it's going right to the bearing, so there's just something screwed up with that. Okay, so that's going... Okay, so station keeping just runs off that. I can't station keep to that. But what? So what this is doing is, see the bearing 7.6? Um, that's wrong. So let me try to figure this out. 6.3.5 is correct. It was doing it for a second. I don't know why it's not doing it now. 7.6 is definitely not what I want. Heading bearing. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm trying to figure this out here. So 63, let's go wrap it around, see if I can get it to read. So it's on channel 635. 76, hmm. See, the problem is with this save, I can't uh, no clip. I should have added that in there. Should have added the creative menu. But um, let's do this. All right, so let's uh, respond. Let's see why it's not behaving. So uh, I need a compass on me. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and spawn that now. So this should be reading. Let me check the bearing. So bearing's about a 146 from here. Okay. So, yep, it's about 146 there. Okay, let's go ahead and fire up. I'm not going to start the engine right now. Let's go ahead and let's type in 635. Hope that's the right frequency. Again, I made up numbers without writing them down, which is foolish. Um... Then we want to go to bearing page. 76. I don't know why it's reading 76. Should be reading GPS right to there. Let me check a couple things. I again I don't have my no clip on, which is annoying. What I'll do is I will I'm gonna make a backup save of my career build series game. 
and I will um, see if I can add this add-on right in without having problems. They tend to be this close to the runway. Professionals don't run off the runway and knock over shacks, so let's put it that way. So let's see. Electricity is one. Okay, so electricity is one. That's fine. This has full electricity. Uh, solar panels are making electricity. Frequency 635. Okay. Signal strength is zero. I don't know what that means. Transmit. So it's transmitting 635. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead and let's save this ADF test. Okay. Let's go ahead back into... Oh, go away. Noise. Uh, yes, reload it, please. Um, so this is seen from ADF test. This is career build series backup. Okay, so let's go to my folder right here. Um, okay, it's on a different screen maybe. Where the hell is it? I'm trying to find where I put this. Okay, there it is. It's just everything is stacked, and it's annoying me that I, Windows 11, you can... You know where you can go to Windows 11 is you have 9 million, everything's open. Um, ADF test. All right, so we have, let's go to Stormworks, saves. Industrial Frontier backup right here. I'm going to copy that and we'll paste it. And that way I have a, a backup. So if I screw my save up, I can roll it. Um, and then let's go ahead and go back here. All right, so right here we have, we look at the scene for ADF test. Right here under playlist mission, we have Dre Moore ADF. So let me go ahead and we'll just do a search for ADF. Find next, find next, find next. That's all it is. So let's see if I can paste this in. So right here under active playlists, I'm going to grab it and see if I can post this in without have breaking my other save. So here is the career build series industrial frontier backup. Uh, let's go up to active playlists paste that in let's save it let's try to load it and see what happens that's copy i don't want copy i want this one I believe unless i saved over the freaking copy man no okay i didn't save over the copy so let's see and I'll reopen that file to see if it's um, if it's saved all right, if I'm having problems. All right, I don't see it. So it's not there. Mm, that's crap. That sucks. Um, so I can load that in as a new save. It's not a big deal to do it, but... Um, ah, crap. Let me see. Let me make sure. So what is this? This is... Industrial Frontier Backup. Okay, let's cancel that. Let's go ahead and open up the notepad again. I'm going to clear these all out, and then I'm going to open it to double-check myself to make sure I didn't screw it up. Um, because I, it's very possible I just screwed up loading it as well. So, Okay, so let's see. Um, that's Backup Scene. Up, it's right there. So, hmm. so, yeah, if you know what's up and if there's a way to just this in that would be nice um data missions dre more adf so let's see let's follow the paths on this and see if i can't figure out what if it's pathing incorrectly or something so it's data so it's under missions so it'd be data missions dre more adf right there so that's the pathing data missions Playlist script vehicle one. Okay, why is that not putting it in game? That's interesting to me. So what I can do is I can make these. Um, I just want to make sure they work first. Um, if they don't work, there's no point. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Let me let me keep playing with it and see what I can do here. So that's not showing there. Let's go ahead and open. Copy should have nothing. And then I'll open up the other, I'll open up the other one, test it. Again, I want to see if this is transmitting properly. You know, if it's something small I can fix because uh, you know, if I can if I can get this proof of concept working for these instrument landing systems, um, you know, I don't mind starting a new save and going through the What is this, dude? What year is this save from? 
Okay, I might have screwed just screwed something up here. Let's see. This is the one. Industrial fuel. Oh, fueling. I I copied the wrong freaking file, man. That could be my whole problem here. So that can go. Yeah, that can go. No wonder that screwed up. Okay, load this one. All right, so I need to do a better job of cop of um, backing these up. So let's check. See, like, if the name's too long, I have to hover over it because, you know, that's, I copied the wrong one. So I, I didn't copy the right one as it is. Um, that's it right here. Copy that. So, not working anyway, but we'll see. All right, so it's not showing. So that sucks. I wish that I could easily load it in. Uh, because what, the, what I'm going to have to do is go in and I want to make all of these. But let's uh, continue to try to get this to work. And uh, we'll finish up there. Hopefully I can get this to work. So ADF test. What I should have done is add the creative menu. Um, what I'm hoping is that I... Actually, you know what I can do? I can launch this as a vehicle. And I can see if Katie did will read the vehicle. Because I can edit it and then put it in. So I'll do that. So let's see. All right, so... The shake is right here. We've got the shack. It appears to be, it's you know, 635 is the correct freak. 635 is the correct freak. Signal strength is zero, which I'm curious about. Transmit mode's true. So it's transmitting on that. It's transmitting, uh, it should be sending out the data. 635, let's go ahead, Katie. Let's do a try here. Oh, I don't have creative on. Makes me have to jump. So, you know, I'll do a bunch of this off screen, but I kind of want you guys to see what I'm thinking of doing and setting this instrument landing system up. All right, so I had this. This was showing correctly. I don't know why. So 635, that's my radio. Um, let's see. I have to select it, I think. Auto, uh, I don't need the auto. I do need the autopilot on it. Heading radio. Okay, so I need radio on. That's working. All right, so HR needs to be on. And H bearing will take me there. Copy. Beautiful. This works. Okay, so this works fine. Um, it is me forgetting how I set up the system. So let's start it up. Let's do a test. So yeah, uh, heading radio will tell... Will, it activates the system. It switches from uh, the standard uh, GPS bearing system to that. So that's why it worked and then it stopped working. So this works. So what I'm going to do is I can go in and I can put all these in the appropriate spots... And then enable the add-on at the beginning of a save game. It sucks that I have to start a new game. But, hey, I can either have fun or I can complain about it. And I'd rather have fun. So let's do that. Let's do altitude hold. Okay, let's go ahead. And we are facing, as you can see, we're going to drift to wherever. If I go heading radio station keeping, we should go right over the shack. And, you know, again, like, like I was saying before, um, it, it overreacts because I have, I have this set up so that it will uh, function with 100% wind, and you need a little bit more rambunctious steering with 100% wind. So that's why it's, you know, taking so long to stabilize. Eventually it will stabilize, but, again, this is set up so that you can station keep with 100% wind. But you see it's going to go over the um, antenna. So it's this works, as you can see. All right, so that works. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll put these different places and change their frequencies. And we're a little bit, we're uh, getting there on time, but let's go ahead and do this. Let's go, how do I want to do this? Let's load up this one. I'll start, I'll start putting these out uh, at the different airports. All I'm doing is change their frequencies. I'll write down my frequencies. So, um... Do Dre Moore. Dre Moore is 635. And all that needs to change is the frequency. And so what I'll do here is um, let's go ahead and go add on editor. So I, do I need to make a ton of these? That's the question. Uh, let's see. So that's ADF Shack. Let's go. 
Uh, let's change the name here. Um, I'm trying to think. So that's 65. Okay. So I'm trying to think, is there an easier way to do this without having to? So let me go in the add-on editor. I don't think I can edit the frequencies there. Yeah, I don't think I can do it there. Um, let me check it. Let's do add-on editor. I don't, again, I don't know the add-on editor well enough here. Environmental mods works. Mission location is okay. So let's do ADFs. EDF system. Okay. Let's go. We have uh, put Dre Moore. Dre Moore. So let's go ahead and edit objects. F. F, F, F right there. Go ahead and we will. Um, Add a vehicle, be the ADF shack, be here. Um, zoom in a little bit and we will rotate it and we'll put it in the ground. So what do we need to do here? Um, what happened to my rotation stuff here? Okay, there we go. We click on it. Display name is DRE more ADF. Okay, rotate you to get you kind of lined up with the runway. Uh, we'll drop you in a little bit to the ground so you look like you actually belong here. Rotation a little bit more. We'll try to line this up so it's square with the runway. Okay, so that's there. Okay, that's good. So let me see. You are spawn relative to seafloor is static. Yes. Keep vehicle active, yes. Is editable, false. Show on map, false. Transponder active, false. Is invulnerable, true. I don't want that sucker blowing up and causing me problems. Okay, so that's done. Let's, um, okay, what do I do here? Create new add-on, load, add-on overview, okay. Let's add... Another one. So I might be able to add these even to any base too. Uh, again, I'm not really comfortable with the add-on system yet, so I have to work on it. So there's military base. Okay, good. Let's edit objects. Um, vehicle. ADF shack. How do I edit the ADF shack? Can I do it here is the question. So add object, edit don't think I can edit it there. So I'm going to have to make these different frequencies. I'm um, trying to think. I could put a keypad on the side. So I have to go from base to base to base to base. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll make just a stack of these. Um, all right. So that kind of that kind of gets me going. So I think off screen I'll do most of this work. So I hope you guys enjoy this. This is kind of showing how this is going to work for. So the, I'll tell you the grand scheme of things. This is... Um, so the grand scheme of things here is I want to put one of these ADF shacks at all of our airports. So there'd be one here, here, at Ender. Uh, we'll put them one there. I don't really like this air base where it is. Um, maybe we'll move it. Military base, Draymore, Harrison. Uh, what is this one called? O'Neill. I don't like where this one is either. But um, so anyways, I'll put these at the main air bases. I'll put it up at um, Tajin. And so this will allow me to use a more realistic navigation system to do instrument approaches. And so I'll do a bunch of them. Uh, as you see, I'm pro I can't really edit the XML to get them in. I'm going to ask some people if they know how to do it, uh, because ideally I would like to not have to redo my save. It's not a huge deal, but it's a pain. And so uh, that way we can have some ADF systems. We can do instrument approaches into these airports, and hopefully that will work for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.